Today we're gonna take a look at some of the best hard surface modeling on the market today. But first, let's agree on some definitions. When we say hard surface modeling, we are talking generally speaking about stuff like armors, machines, mechas, weapons, and so on. The software we're gonna cover today need to be excellent solutions. Also, CAD software are gonna be left out because this is a subject for a different video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start off first with something that people love, I mean love to hate, which is 3ds Max. Everyone and their grandmas love Max because it is the beloved child of Autodesk. But in fact, it is a very capable and an excellent 3D modeling software. This versatile software will allow you not only to model your desired shapes, but also do that with ease using modifiers, shortcuts, and many, many, many other tools that you can use within Max, which makes it one of the best software for hard surface modeling. But this is not even scratching the surface, because it has a lot of plugins and expanded capabilities that can elevate the software to a different level. So you can use plugins for welding, kit bashing, using Boolean operations, and so on. Most importantly, Autodesk recently in the last couple of years has given more attention to the Boolean, chamfer, cutting, and general modeling tools in addition to other stuff that makes the process of hard surface modeling more intuitive. For me personally, it was a surprise after so many years with lack of updates and negligence from Autodesk. In my opinion, the progress that Blender has achieved in the last three years or so had a ripple effect on other software, and Max is one of them simply just due to the nature of competition. And since we mentioned Blender, we have to proceed by talking about it. So what can we say about Blender that hasn't already been said? This piece of software can do everything, however, it shines even more when it comes to hard surface modeling. With its new accessible interface, ease of use, and abundant tools, I'd say Blender is one of the best out there, especially for newcomers. What sets it apart is its fast workflow, community, and powerful add-ons. It is no secret that Blender utilizes a lot of shortcuts instead of on-screen buttons and a menu. And while that's not always good for newcomers, for many, it is impossible to work otherwise. So this is gonna help you to model fast especially when working on hard surface models. Generally speaking, Blender has a very decent modeling tools, like modifiers, boolean tools, slicing and cutting tools, and so much more. But I'm afraid that vanilla Blender doesn't cut it, especially if you want to save yourself the time and effort necessary to work on big projects and their serious deadlines, which takes us to the next point. And this is the fact that Blender has an impressive set of hard surface modeling add-ons that are used and adored by thousands of people. Me personally, I know that Blender is a good software for a long time. But about 5 years ago or so, I became super interested in it, and this is simply because its hard surface modeling add-ons picked my interest. Add-ons like Hard Ops, Box Cutter, Mesh Machine, Decal Machine, Kit Ops, Fluent, and so much more. It was just impressive like magical level of impressive. So I can comfortably say that Blender has an edge over Max, especially when it comes to hard surface modeling using add-ons. And now we're gonna talk about something that you probably didn't see coming, which is ZBrush. While Pixelogic ZBrush is primarily known for its exceptional sculpting and organic modeling capabilities, many artists now actually have to use it to their advantage, especially in hard surface modeling. A lot of people think it is only for organic modeling, but this couldn't be further from the truth. ZBrush can be a powerful tool for hard surface modeling. In addition to creating surface details, prototyping, and iterating through your design ideas with an unparalleled level of control and intuitiveness, and once you are addicted to it, it would be really hard to go back to your polygonal modeling workflow. Someone made a good point before that polygonal modeling is more technical than artistic because the time you waste trying to figure out the best topology and the best way to move your vertices around is way longer than just making art. And ZBrush, on the other hand, allows you to flow between 2D sketching and 3D sculpting seamlessly. This is like drawing for a 3D artist. You can add details, masks, extrude anywhere you want, and above all, you're gonna have control over the shape proportions and the final result because you can add as many details as you want, which makes ZBrush extremely powerful. 
And before anyone jumps the gun, yes, you're gonna have to go over polygonal modeling later and do retopology for your model if you want something game ready, for example. But you're already more than halfway through it if you've already done the design, not to mention all the powerful retopology tools that ZBrush offers. And that's not even mentioning all the add-ons and scripts that can elevate and automate the experience even further. For me, ZBrush is one of the best in the hard surface modeling game, if not the best. Next up, we have the Foundry Moto. We actually made a video last month on Moto and its history as well. And you can check this video if you want to. Generally speaking, Moto is an exceptional software when it comes to modeling. In fact, it was the absolute best at one point in the late 2000s and studios bought it like hot cake and became industry standard instantly due to its crazy good modeling tools. Mono offers a wide range of tools and features that make it suitable for creating detailed and precise hard surface models. For instance, Mono's Mesh Fusion toolset enables non-destructive modeling workflows, allowing you to get the advantage of utilizing Boolean operations in a seamless way. In addition, Moto has a great kit bashing system that allows you to quickly assemble and modify pre-built 3D assets, making it easier to create complex hard surface models. And it has just all around a good and intuitive system to create those sweet, sweet hard surfaces. Things like bevel operations, procedural modeling and so on makes it a great option for product and industrial design and even VFX and game development projects. But on a side note, Moto was neglected for so many years. This is the case for reasons we mentioned in the video we talked about, but hopefully it will go back to being great again, especially with the recent updates. Maya is also a great 3D package for hard surface modeling. And like what we said about Max and Vanilla Blender, Autodesk Maya can only achieve so much, that's why you will need add-ons to work with hard surface model projects faster. Plugins like the ones from Wizix, such as Stamp It, Plug It, Mod It, Weld It, and so much more. These plugins are absolutely amazing and can do a lot of things that can be done with Blender hard surface modeling add-ons. Another workflow that can be useful for many is using sculpting software such as ZBrush to create the hard surface mesh and then take it to Maya for retopology, basically benefiting from the best of both worlds. Now, some of you guys might say, isn't he gonna talk about plasticity, the coolest 3D software nowadays? Don't worry, because I will right now. Unlike using Max, Maya, and Blender, plasticity is a CAD slash surface modeling software, meaning it is designed for more industrial and product design purposes, as opposed to being a media and entertainment software. But you'll be surprised of how good it is. One of the major differences between it and other 3D packages is the fact that it is based on NURBS. And if you know anything about NURBS, you know how smooth and efficient this modeling approach is. Which makes Plasticity not only one of the best solid modeling software, but also a good surface modeling software as well. So basically Plasticity is trying to get the best from DCC software and CAT software. Because you can create Boolean, Offset, Fillets and create amazing and complex hard surface models with ease. And what's interesting is the fact that it offers a lot of necessary tools for 3D artists, especially those who need advanced modeling tools and who seek efficiency. So guys, if you are interested in one of these tools, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel and take a look at some of our previous videos Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.